हे गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो वॉट वी आर गो लर्न टू डे इज हाउ टू लिंक अवर जावा स्क्रिप्ट फाइल्स टू अवर एच टी एम एल फाइल्स ओके सो वी आर गो सी दैट इन डेप्थ हाउ टू लाइक लिंक अवर फाइल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेरियस लाइक टैग्स दैट वी हैव इन जे एस और इन एच टी एम एल ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विदाउट दैट in the previous video we had seen how to install visual studio code and i have also installed visual studio code and like i said in the previous video i have created one javascript hello world folder and inside that i have created one index.js file but before that if you don't have node install then javascript program will not work on our will not work in your vs code so for that just need to go on cmd and in the previous video only i have like i taught you how to install node js so if it is installed properly then just go to your cmd and type node space dash v so it will give you a current version of node which is installed on your system if it is not installed then it will give us like give you a error so in that case you just need to reinstall it again okay so that is for node js and why like why we are installing node js just because we want to run javascript on our local machine okay so that's the thing and for this index.js what i am going to do right now i am just going to write log and by writing log i am getting something uh, like some pre written syntax i just need to enter it and i am getting console.log and in this i am writing hello world so if you want to print anything in javascript you simply need to type this command console dot log and what is this console just uh, be with me i i will tell you later in this video only okay so that's the thing and the second thing is what we have is uh, one extension that we need to install that is code runner see so what does this code runner do this will make our javascript file run runs in our vs code and by installing this you will get this proper uh, symbol of run this play button is there okay if code runner is if code runner is not installed then you will be not you will not be able to see in this play button okay so this makes running our javascript program very easyable easy feasible okay and yeah so i have written this one line console.log hello world and how to run this particular program you just need to simply run code and you will be able to see that output hello world we are getting over here okay so that's the thing and the second one that we want our main functionality for today is how to link this index.js folder with our html page see for that what we can do i am just a going inside this folder and creating one another file that is index.html so index.html is a very specific name i am giving because that's the entry point to any javascript application which is working on front end okay so index.html just uh, always remember to rename your file as index.html okay so i am importing my html template over here so how, how do i import that thing by clicking on shift and one and clicking enter okay so this is our a uh, normal html template and in html templates more specifically what we have meta tag and title we have so i am just removing this <laughs> okay so no issues as of now and what i can do i need to improve one like uh, in uh, i need to use one tag called script for creating any javascript file inside my html file okay so what i can do see i am using the script tag and in script tag i can write anything that i want let's say let's say i want i am writing the same log thing that we have done in our index.js file see so the same thing i am doing over here hello world instead of hello world we will do hello india okay just in case uh just in case uh, if you are not able to find out the part that particular output okay so how to run a index.html file that you guys know very well you just need to click on right side on vs code and you just need to open this file with live server and what is this live server this is one extension that you need to download from extensions only see live server if i am typing live server 
the first option that we get is your live server okay so how to run this file just right click on it and open with live server and yes you are able to see that my index.html file is open so i am just right clicking on this particular file and i am inspecting this file by right clicking on it and you can see in chrome developer tools so these all are chrome developer tools and here is the option of console so in console you can see hello india has been getting printed okay so that's the thing this is the console which i am talking about okay and if you don't if you want to show something on screen so for that we have another syntax that is document dot body dot inner html okay and what we want is hello india yeah what we want is hello india i'm just saving this thing and right now what i have written here is document that like whatever whatever is present inside this particular html file in script tag that will be referred to as document and body is this tag this body tag this refers to this body tag and inner html is whatever written inside this body tag uh what i want to like write inside this body tag is hello india so that's why i have given equal to hello india so let's do one thing i am saving this file and going back to browser so you you are able to see right now see uh if i zoom out see you are seeing hello india over here on my browser so in this way also you can attach your uh, js file in html code let's say if we have any file like this we have index.js written in another file and let's say if you want to link this index.js file with our html page then in that case what we can do is we just need to remove this inside content or we can keep it as well and we can remove this as well that depends on us in script tag we just need to pass one attribute that is src so what does this src will do src will take the location of external js file that we have and how to how to get that particular external file but let's say uh, right now my js file is being uh, it is in same location it is at same location so for that i need to type dot slash and i will be able to see the options option of file name that are present in my current folder i am selecting index.js okay so this this dot slash is very important to move like to take files from different folder locations okay so i am simply saving this thing and you can see that in this index.js we have hello world in our console and if it is connected then we will be able to see this thing on our console over here so let's say i am going to my console and you can see hello world has been written written printed over here and you can see that this hello world is coming from my index.js file the first line over here see if i click over here index.js you will be able to see that in sources you will be able to see the index like the files location that we have see in index.js we have this console.log hello world and it is been like linked to this index.html page particularly okay so that's the thing so in this way you can link your js file to our html page and and more specifically if i wanted to tell you then you can include your body uh, script tag over here in like uh, programmers will programmers prefer to write script tag at the bottom bottom of this body tag and yeah you can also write the script tag in the head section itself that will not uh, cause any error to you but just uh be sure to rename your file as index and index.html okay so that's the only thing that i wanted to conclude for today and yes in the next video we will see what are variables in javascript that uh, that is going to be the very interesting video okay so i will see you guys in next video until then if you haven't check out our javascript series is live on our channel do check it out please and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do subscribe and click on notification bell so that you can get the notification of upcoming videos on your home page so thank you so much for watching guys i will see you next video until then bye bye